This is the Southern Blotting Technique demonstrated by Group 14 with Annie, Jeffrey, Adam, and Brianna Ward. The Southern Blotting Technique is used to verify the presence or absence of a specific nucleotide sequence in DNA from different sources and to identify the size of the restriction fragment that contains the sequence. Edwin Southern developed the technique in 1973 at Edinburgh University, though it wasn't patented. His work was not published until 1975 because the Journal of Molecular Biology did not think his work was interesting or even significant. Southern's work helped scientists map the entire genomes of species in, 19, in the 1970s, though. To begin this technique, DNA is first isolated from the organism and cut into smaller pieces with restriction endonucleases at specific restriction sites. The fragments are then placed on an agarose gel and electrophoresis is performed to separate the fragments. When undergoing electrophoresis, the gel is subjected to an electric field to cause the negatively charged DNA fragments to move towards the side with the positive charge. The fragments separate based on size because the larger fragments take longer to move through the gel. The fragments are then made visible with ethidium bromide added. A sheet of nitrocellulose or nylon membrane is placed on top of the gel and the DNA fragments are transferred from the agarose gel onto the membrane. The membrane is subjected to many copies of radioactive probe or a probe with an enzyme bound to it. These probes are single-stranded DNA which are bind to complementary DNA sequences. If the probe was labeled with the radioactivity, it will expose X-ray film. If it has an enzyme attached, then substrate is added that will either produce coloration or give off light. This is our group video. Thank you for watching.